Hey folks, how you doing? It's Hash. So today, let's check out Microsoft's new PC Manager software. It's still in beta stage. It's not available via Windows Update or anything like that. You have to go here. A link is in the description and download it. It's a very small download. So they released this to compete with CCleaner. So CCleaner has been, uh, I've been using this CCleaner for like, since the beginning of time. I think. So it's been there for a long, long time. So to compare with this, Microsoft released PC Manager. So let's find out if CCleaner is still worth hanging on to or if it's not worth the download. Let's check it out. So the problem with CCleaner is you get the free version and professional versions and several versions. And uh, when you get the free version, you get tons of pop-ups that constantly nag you to pay for the, you know, pro version and all that. So that's a huge, huge turn off for me. And since PC Manager is built in free software by Microsoft itself, there's no such pop-ups. So it's a huge win for PC Manager from Microsoft. But what about the stuff inside? Let's check it out. So you get the health checkup. Browser caches and all that. Clean up or whatever you need to clean up. Disable startup apps and all that. All of this available in CCleaner as well. So you get the boost button here. Boost it and it says performance boosted. It deletes all the temporary files and cleans up the PC hard drives. But uh, make sure this is only the C drive. PC Manager only cleans the C drive. They get a deep clean on the storage manager. Deep clean up. All right, so you get uh, select clean up items. Let's clean it up. There you go. It's pretty fast, much faster than this one. Much faster than the C cleaner. Manage large files. Manage apps. Storage sense. The automatic user content cleanup. Storage sense runs when this space is low. We clean up enough space to help your system run its best. Yeah, all right. Process management. And then use processes to make your system run faster. So these are the ones running in the background right now. Startup. So these are the startup ones. I'd have disabled most of them and only Jihab and a few others. What the fuck? Why is this Microsoft Edge running in the background? I don't even use it. I didn't know this was running in the background. So on the security here, you can scan within the PC Manager. You can scan your system. It says same as if you're scanning with the Windows security. Also within this, you can uh, check for updates. You don't have to separately go for Windows update. You can check everything within here. That's pretty useful. You can set the default browser here. Enable or disable pop-ups. Windows within apps. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. It obviously doesn't have a registry cleaner like CCleaner. That's the biggest difference. This PC manager doesn't have a registry cleaner. But that is to be expected because Microsoft doesn't encourage people to clean or delete registry entries. They say it's not needed. And I might tend to agree with that. You know, I have had the occasions where deleting, you know, using this to delete stuff. 
has caused some damage to my software or my system in the past. So um, I don't think uh, deleting registry is not a good idea. Registry entries, you know, unused registry entries is not a good idea. So that's why obviously Microsoft kept that out of PC Manager. So after using these two, I'm going to delete CCleaner and I'm going to stick with this. This is it's the same as Windows Defender versus Kaspersky or other commercial antivirus, which always keeps nagging you to buy stuff and update and all that. Uh, Windows Defender is more than enough nowadays. And I think I believe same here with the PC manager. So it's high time I deleted um, CCleaner. And I'm going to stick with PC manager. Uh, so I recommend you guys do the same thing as well. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.